Hey guys, my name is Gustavo David Ortiz, and this is Agent Hustle. So, you need to understand your lead flow. Now, there's all kinds of ways that you can do it, but there are really two really important elements that you need to pay attention to. One is going to be your lead stage. Like, what stage is your current prospect in? Two is going to be tags. How are you going to tag these leads in whatever CRM you're using? Uh, so long as you at least make use of these two really important elements, you're going to do really well with how you manage all of your leads. So with regard to lead stages, there's a number of different ways of doing it, but generally speaking, a lead comes in, you don't know anything about them, they're just a lead. Once you kind of get some information, you're able to establish whether they are a hot lead and they're getting, they're real close, they're about to make a transaction. And in terms of me for, for real estate, they're ready to buy a house. They are hot, right? But we haven't contracted with them to go out and go looking for a home or they haven't contracted with us to or with me to list a home there's also nurturing right there might be a a stage where you might call it a nurture right and this is a time where all of the elements are there to identify that they are definitely hot but maybe they're not ready to buy right now so that's something you would put down as a nurture um there are all kinds of other um other types or other stages that you can put into place, but it's important to understand that you at least have some kind of stage structure in place so that when those leads come in, you know how to treat them. You're not going to treat someone who's ready to buy tomorrow the same way that you would treat someone who's not ready to buy for six months. So as long as you have a really good setup for what stages your leads are coming in or what stages your leads are set at, you're going to have a really good idea of how to deal with them. Tags. Tags are critically important to identify important details that are going to shift how you might talk to somebody. A first time home buyer is not going to be tagged in the same capacity as someone who's an investor. So you want to make sure that you have a good tagging protocol and that you follow it no matter what you do. So, so long as you guys can uh, really have a good, strong stage, um, stage staging categories for uh, what stage your lead is in, and as long as you have a really good tagging protocol, you're going to be able to manage your leads very effectively. I mean, there are other things that you can do, but those two, two elements, I think, are probably two of the most important elements with regard to lead, lead management. Anyways, that's my rant for today. Um, again, uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ortiz was taken because it was. Uh, also, if you like what you're hearing, please thumbs up. Please share if you think someone can take something from this. Uh, also, make sure you comment below if you have any questions or uh, just any comments about real estate or anything that I'm saying. Uh, it'd be great if you subscribe and uh, that's about it. So I guess I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.